Melons? I see melons every like two seconds. Where are the melons at? Where are these melons that you are promising us? Oh! the f is bone lab coming out and what are some juicy details about this game that we don't know about yet these are the two questions that i ask myself every single morning when i wake up i have been keeping my eyes peeled like a f***ing hawk to see if there are any updates on bone lab for like the past few months if bone lab does so much as rip ass silently anywhere across the united states I'll be there in exactly 0.69 milliseconds to meticulously record the taste, smell, and degradation of air quality. <laughs> All jokes aside, I have researched Bone Lab top to bottom. Along the way, I have discovered a ton of exciting new details about this game. And after playing Steam's favorite cataract simulator last week, also known as Green Hell VR, I realized that I was in desperate need of some eye bleach. So. I decided to play a little bit of Boneworks. In this video, I'm going to take you guys through every single piece of information that I currently have on Bone Lab. I hope you're as excited as I am. Enjoy the video. I will start off the video with this because I'm sure a lot of you guys are as curious as I am about it. When is Bone Lab releasing? Well, according to the most current information that we have, the release date is still a big mystery. All we know is that it is set to release sometime during 2022. And according to Brandon J. Losh, one of the founders of Stress Level Zero, Bone Lab has been playable from beginning to end for quite some time now. The developers have mainly just been focusing their attention towards polishing up the game, patching up bugs, and adding more new features. So, unless there is some massive game-breaking bug that pops up out of nowhere and stifles the developers, we should 100% be seeing Bone Lab release by the end of 2022. A Boneworks, I f***ing love you. I don't know how else to say it. Time to use my bare f***ing hands for murder. <laughs> now, this is epic. <laughs> you better get out of here, little guy. Things are gonna get messy real quick. <sighs> Who's ready to get their d stomped in? Do it! D stomps, d stomps here, d stomps. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Why did that sound like someone ripped ass? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, what happened? I think I might be able to find who did this to you. It was me. You just got punked! This is what we were looking for. I needed a new knife to murder people with. Okay. Now how did you go ahead and get yourself stuck in there? <laughs> ah! 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 Oh. Achoo! Authorized personnel only. Now I have authorization, but it was from your mother. You what? What will the gameplay be like in Bone Lab? Well, Bone Lab essentially uses the same Unity engine as Boneworks, with the Marrow Interaction engine built into it. However, it has been reported that this physics framework has had a lot of tweaking done to it and is a drastic improvement when compared to the physics in Boneworks. Bone Lab will also have far better functionality and game asset optimization, which means that it will require less rendering power to run the game. This enables the developers to shorten loading times, pack in extra features, and utilize more more complex, memory-intensive lighting techniques such as volumetric lighting. The avatar you use to play the game has also been made more complex. The player model will now be fully simulated, which means that factors such as momentum, size, and weight will impact the physics calculations for everything that you do. So basically, Bone Lab is going to look, feel, and run much better than Boneworks. We are also going to be getting a button solely dedicated to ejecting magazines. But the slow motion system and inventory system are going to function the same as they did in Boneworks. What's up, son? Put your hands up. Yeah, slow. Nice and slow. Now put your on the floor. What do you mean you guys don't have any chocolate milk? <laughs> I think I can help you with this. This is gonna be like the Band-Aid. It's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, great heavens! Oh, he died. 
Prepare thyself. Yo, if any challenge guys wanna come in here and get their d stomped, be my guest. <laughs> get out of my swamp. Is this how you're supposed to hold a sword? Little cat 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 cat. Little cat 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 action? Eh? Will there be mods in Bone Lab? You probably already know the answer to this question if you've been following this game, but yes, there will be. Players will now be able to use any avatar that they want by either using approved mods or by creating their very own custom 3D avatar and then importing it directly into the game. One player asked if they could have an avatar that was uncircumcised, to which our founder, Brandon Losh, replied with, model and bring it in. I'm not going to hold you back from your dreams. This means that I will in fact be playing Bone Lab as Bill Cosby. <laughs> In Bone Lab, you will not only be able to mod your own character, but also levels, items, and this one really excites me, enemies. However, modding will only be possible by using an in-house source development kit with the Unity 2021 engine. Do not worry though, there will also be an SDK pack available containing features and starting content to make modding more convenient for us. Modding will be available for both the PC VR and standalone Quest 2 versions of Bone Lab. Hello. Hello there. Do you know where I can find a little bit of Kerchew? Do you have an idea where I can find some of that? Come on, huh? <laughs> Ooh, this looks, this looks f dastardly. I bet you Dirty Dan's down there somewhere. Who you calling Pit at? Huh, this looks pretty fun. <laughs> melons over here. Dude, oh, are they big old thick fat melons? Is that what they are? Because if so, I might be interested. So this is where you're keeping all the melons, huh, boys? Pest control's here. <laughs> hey! Don't you worry, boys. I'll be back for the melons later. Okay. I never skip out on some big old fat thick melons. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Why? Buddy, I ask myself that question every f***ing day. Okay. Oh, God! Definitely. Will Bone Lab's story even be related to Boneworks? Bone Lab is not going to be a sequel or prequel to Boneworks, but the plot of the game is definitely related to the events of Boneworks. In this game, you will play as an outcast who has been sentenced to death. You are tasked with escaping your execution, which we can only speculate is located in Fantasyland. After escaping, you will be able to enter into a hidden laboratory in Mythos City, which contains modded levels, parkour courses, sandboxes, chambers, tactical trials, experimental modes, and arenas. The ultimate goal of Bone Lab's story is for your character to discover their origins and purpose for their existence. According to a producer of Boneworks named Alex Knoll, Bone Lab will be comprised of 33% sandbox, 33% user-generated content, aka mods, and 30 33% story. Assault. Easy. Didn't even have to break a sweat. No, oh, buddy. This is just another day at the office for me. All right, and I hope you're ready to get absolutely f destroyed. How'd that feel, huh? Come here. Oh. God, it feels good to be king, all right? <laughs> That's what's up, son. You're probably wondering, well, what's gonna happen to me now? These are all very understandable worries. I got it covered. <laughs> Lastly, some extra snippets of information about Bone Lab are that we will be getting vehicles and possibly gliders. Bone Lab will be crossed by when purchased through the Oculus Store, which means that you will get a copy of the game to play on PC VR and another version exclusively for the Quest 2. Sadly though, this cross by deal only applies to the Oculus Store. You will not get a Quest 2 version of the game if you decide to buy Bone Lab through Steam. Kind of a huge bummer, but hey, what are you gonna do? On a more positive note, the soundtrack for Bone Lab is produced by the same guy who produced the soundtrack for Boneworks. So, you can be pretty damn certain certain that Bone Lab is going to have an amazing soundtrack. You can also expect Bone Lab to be similarly priced to Boneworks. So until I see news telling me otherwise, Bone Lab is going to be about $29.99. For the love of all that is holy, f I am so f pumped for Bone Lab because I haven't been reminded in a little bit of how great Boneworks looks, dude. <laughs>
Dude, this is the most fun part of this entire game so far. Holy shit! <laughs> you gotta go too, bud. I'm sorry. Here we go. Special send off for you though, eh? No! God! No! No! <laughs> God damn, I love my job. You didn't see anything. <laughs> what are we looking at here, bud? Did he fall from a ladder or something? Hmm? Ladders? <laughs> Did he fall from a, a ladder? Did you see anything? You had to have seen something, man. No? You sure about that? Look at that ladder, boys. <laughs> we hit the jackpot. I feel like I'm in the back rooms right now. Well, that is all I have for this week's video, my dudes. I will be keeping a close eye on Bone Lab. I haven't been this hyped for a video game release in quite a while, so I am extremely eager to get a copy of this game and experience all of the magic that it has to offer. If someone from Stress Level Zero's team just so happens to be watching this video, please, for the love of God, give me an early access demo of Bone Lab to make a sneak peek video on. I will let you name my firstborn child. Anywho, I hope you learned something new from this video. If not, then hopefully you got some form of enjoyment out of it. Keep your eyes peeled for the release of Bone Lab, boys. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye!